Reducio. Did anyone get that reference there? Gloria here. Welcome back to my channel where I love to talk about good design for a good life. So if you like product reviews and you love ideas on how to design products better, do consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. So in this video, I want to talk about a really popular reusable coffee mug, the Stojo Cup. I actually had a white version for almost a year, but sadly I left it on a beach in Australia and I soon got gifted with a new mug, the Frank Green Cup. And I actually reviewed that in another video. So if you're interested, do check it out. To be honest, Stojo was the first reusable mug I ever fell in love with. So Stojo feels like my first reusable cup husband who has passed away. And now that I'm with Frank Green, I feel like I'm kind of cheating on my dead husband even though Stojo has moved on to a better place. So for this filming, I actually borrowed the Stojo from my friend Amelia. Thanks Meals. What you see here is the Stojo Biggie which is a 16 ounce cup or a Starbucks Grande if you're basic and go to Starbucks like I do. So a little bit about Stojo. So Stojo is started by Julian Swartz and his two co-founders Alex and Ben after working 15 years in finance. Actually, what is it with finance that inspires people to start their own company? I've heard so many stories of people quitting their jobs in finance and going out on their own and starting their own company. Is it so shit in there that people are like, I have to do anything to make my business work so I don't go back into that shithole? I don't know. So how Stojo started is that Jurian and Alex met at their corporate finance job and they really wanted to come up with a product idea. Alex came up with the idea for a collapsible coffee cup and they soon met Ben who has more of a technical design skill set. They spent two years working on this and they finally came up with a working prototype and launched their project on Kickstarter where they raised $128,000, $118,000 more than their goal and thus Stojo was born. So one thing also great to know, Stojo is part of the 1% for the Planet movement started by Yvonne Chenard, who is the founder of Patagonia. So what that means is each year, Stojo commits 1% of their annual revenue to an environmental nonprofit. In this case, lately they have partnered with Lonely Whale, which makes an impact through education and super cool awareness raising campaigns. They are actually the organization behind the whole Shawless movement that started in 2017. And Stojo wanted to partner with them because aside from making great products, they also want to educate the public on the impact of trash and disposable culture. So on to the review. So like my last video with the Frank Green Cup, I want to break this down into seven elements. So it's the look, the material, the drinking experience, whether it leaks, the warmth retention, the weight, and also the cleaning process, how easy it is to clean. For this video, as mentioned, I have borrowed the Stojo from my friend Amelia, who has chosen to get the all black option. At first, I thought this looked a little emo, but when I got this in my hands, it actually does look like a sexy Porsche. And you know what they say about women who wear black? They lead colorful lives. <laughs> Gotta squeeze that in somehow. In general, I love the look and design of the Stojo. I think it's really mellow and pleasant, like a Nora Jones song. I'm having a major crush on the new colorway Sage at the moment. I'm blushing just looking at it, and I hope the next color they do, it'll be like a salted caramel or something. Personally, I do think getting a lighter color option is better because it does stain after putting darker liquids in there, aka coffee. Stojo does have instructions on how to clean stains, and I'll share these later. So, the material. According to the information on Stojo's website, Stojo's bodies are made of LFGB certified platinum food grade silicone and their lid and cup sleeves are made of FDA grade polypropylene or number 5 recyclable plastic. Stojo is free of BPA, BPS, cadmium, mercury, lead and all California Prop 65 harmful substances. See, I think you can find a bunch of similarly designed cups on the internet for cheaper, but when you're buying from a brand, their name is on the line so you can be sure that the materials are safe, and if they're not, you can go nuts on their Instagram comments. Lots of good and bad things you can say about their internet and social media, but perhaps one good thing is that this helps us keep brands accountable for what they promise. In the past, we can only trust their ads and their marketing campaigns and suffer silently when their products or services don't live up to their word. But now we have a platform to voice our opinion and keep them to their word. So yay, Instagram, Facebook. The drinking experience. I've had this cup for over a year and I think the experience is nice and decent. No complaints. The leak test. 
I personally love a cup that doesn't leak because I'm always on the go and want to just throw my cup in my bag when I'm done or after I prepared a coffee at home. It's been a day. Stressing I like crazy, just wanna be lazy. Heat retention. So I guess this is where it falls a little short. There isn't really an insulating layer. At the same time, Stojo has never advertised that it keeps things warm for long. So I think just treat this as like your usual disposable paper cup. I hope it's not usual by the way. The weight. So this is 16 ounce, my Frank Green is 10 ounce, and this is actually lighter at 208 grams. Ease of cleaning. So cleaning is very easy when it comes to the Sojo cup. You just take it apart. All the cracks are very easy to get into. Super easy to clean. Honestly, if you know how to use a sponge to clean things, you will know how to clean the Sojo. Your Sojo, especially if it's a lighter color, could get stained with coffee or tea after a while though. To help with that, Sojo recommends soaking your cup in a mix of water and 3% hydrogen peroxide and letting it sit for 24 to 48 hours. If you somehow manage to get your stojo sticky, which I don't know how you do that unless you put instant noodle in there or oh, you put coconut oil in your coffee. I made a video on how to clean your stojo when it's sticky. Check it out. So this is my review of the stojo. I hope you find it helpful. I personally am a big fan of the brand and I love their designs. I think they're super cool and well thought out. And I miss my late reusable cup husband. That's all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. And if you want to keep hearing from me about good designs for a good life, do subscribe and I'll see you next time.